everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome to another save file review. So today we are going over the Maybe Emily's save file that is base game and for rent. So Maybe Emily makes amazing save files. There's a full version that is like all the worlds, all the packs, and then there's also so many different save files that have base game and then a specific pack. This is really great for people starting out with the game or if even you have a computer where you feel like it might not be able to handle this huge save file, this is good for you. So I think this is useful for a lot of different reasons. So as you can see, Tomarang is all complete. I'm loving the look of it. Another thing just to keep in mind, when you download this, if you don't know how to use save files, you're going to want to put this in your saves folder, not your mods folder. It's not a mod. It has no mods in it or anything like that. And then it's just going to go into your saves. So when you go into your game and you know, you go to open your saves to play one of your saves, it's going to show up like that. So you'll go into the save file you downloaded and then you'll go ahead and either play with a pre-made townie if you want to, or you can just go over here and just, you know, make your own sim or grab a sim from your library, whatever you want to do. And then you just play with them that way. And then so that these stay here, because you know, you might want to have another save file where you're using this base save. You can go ahead and just do save as when you save for the first time, and then you'll keep these. So you don't want to overwrite these. I say these because these are both two different save files, but we're going over this one today. But as you can see, this is another one of the maybe Emily save file, but it'll just be called M's complete. And then this one today that we're going over is base game plus parent save file. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So as I just showed you guys, this is Tom Ring, which is what we're going to be focusing on. But then because it's base game plus for rent, the base game worlds will be redone too. So I'm not going to be going over the base game worlds. Like I said, this creator has tons of base game plus another pack, you know, so if you just have growing together, there's one for that too. So I just want to focus on the actual new world that's done, but just to kind of go over it, this is what Oasis Springs will look like. And then here is what new crest will look like. Okay. So I am really drawn to this lot here. So this is a rental home. I really want to go here and check it out. So as you can see, even the park is redone and I love the way this is looking from the map view too. This looks the same as does this. I don't know if the inside has changed. We can always check it out. I think this also, but I don't know if anything was changed on the inside and then there is this vacation rental over here which looks really cute this res residential rental looks awesome but yeah let's go ahead and head into here so there's quite a few units in this one i want to see the whole thing first so i think what we're gonna do is jump into build oh my god cute okay so this is adorable i love just the way i don't know the shape of the building or something i really like i just think it looks adorable and then we have a pool in the back here we have some nice lounge chairs some seating a barbecue and then an area for the kids to play. Aw, this is so freaking cute. So let's go ahead and head in. Okay, so there is a room in the basement for like electrical and all that. And then here is the first floor. So you come in here. I love this big open walkway and then the big stairs. So cute. And ooh, I love the color themes fits perfectly with Tomarang. I think I'm just gonna do, well, here's like what it looks like with all the walls up, but I think we're gonna go ahead and look at this. Just, you know, like this. I did take the markings off for each unit, but if it's easier, I don't know if it's easier for you guys to look at it without it or with it, but I feel like where the units are, are very obvious in this build. It's not confusing, which I love because apartments sometimes can be very chaotic and you're just like, wait, where does this unit start? Like, I don't know. Yeah. There, there's a lot of complicated builds. I feel like this one is laid out really nicely, which I feel like this creator does a really good job of making like user friendly builds. So I appreciate that. Like, look at how this is laid out. It's so perfect. I love, I love the color theme too like even this flooring just like pairs really nicely with these counters and then we have an empty room here which is nice you can do whatever you want with it and then um just you know a big bedroom there we have a bathroom and then over here it's kind of like the same layout so i like this this is the kind of thing I like to go for when I'm building apartments. This is kind of like, it's reminding me of my first apartment build kind of like in a way it's definitely different, but like in a way it's reminding me of that. Even like back here with different things, of course, mine has a water park and everything, but like, I don't know. I feel like the thought process was similar here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, in the apartment I built, I kind of like made all the units look alike on each floor. They were the same. So yeah, this one, this room's done though for a toddler, which is cute. And then moving up. So again, just so you guys can see, this is a unit and then this one and then this one and this one. So these are smaller actually. So here's the door to go into this one. You know, I love a cute small little apartment. I think it's cute. So yeah, these kind of match as well. Not exactly. There is differences, obviously. This one has like more counters coming out. And then of course you can do some furnishing here. So there's that. And then kind of the same situation for this side. So that's actually the top floor. I thought there was another layer of units, but no, that's everything. So that's cute. I like that. I do kind of want to go into one of the families and just, you know, meet them. Here's some of the Sims that do live here though. Cute. I really want to go into this apartment with the little toddler. So let's head in really quickly. Okay. So here they are. We have, we have the mother. Look at how cute she is. Oh my God. Stop. Another thing I love about maybe Emily Safe Files is the Sims are just so cute. Like honestly, you don't even feel like you need to give them CC. Look how adorable. And then we have the son. Oh my God. Look at how cute he is. So I'm not sure if anything's going on here. There is the Sim here. That's an elder. I think it's just the landlord. So nothing really may be going on with this family, but they do have some skills set up, which is always nice. And then she is in the entertainment career. Okay. And then as for you, little one, you have the angelic trait. Oh, you have some skills going. Okay. Okay. All right. So moving on, I want to see more of the lots here. Honestly, I've been on the hunt for save files that are updated for the for rent pack, which is hard because obviously it's pretty new. We're going to go here and yeah, it takes people a while to build obviously. And the pack did only come out in December. So I feel like we will start seeing more save files rolling out that are updated for for rent, but yeah, definitely give it some time. If you guys have come across any, let me know because I would love to go over them. Oh my God. <gasps> This is so much better than what we get. Stop. <gasps> I'm in love. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. This park, I mean this park, this pond will look stunning when you're in live mode. And I love, oh, I love everything. I can't even, I can't even. I'm sorry, but this is what it should have looked like. Are you kidding me? This is so gorgeous. You know, when you still have this here, but it's like, there's so much more going on. It's, oh, this would be so pretty for pictures. Just so beautiful. And then look here. Like again, actual things will be going on. This is just, I don't know. It looks like something I'd actually see in real life. I'm obsessed. That looks so much better in this area to me. So next up, I just want to quickly check if these have been actually, I don't think so. Is this what they looked like originally? I feel like, yeah, but if I'm wrong, let me know because now I'm just like, wait, what did these even look like? Because I looked at them quickly and then I kind of just like never touched them again. And I just want to replace them because I'm just like not the biggest fan. I think these are the same, but I don't know. They're definitely the same families living there. Anyways, let's just focus on obviously the brand new builds. And then like, I think this would be the same as well. It looks the same from the outside. I'm just going to assume. So let's go here. This looks interesting. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what's going on here? When I like, I don't know. We're just going to go in. <laughs> okay. Here's what the outside of this looks like. This is this is nice. I like this. I love when people are super creative with the for rent builds. Like, you know, you don't just have to build apartments. This is like, I don't know. And I like just the design of it, the colors. It's simple, but I love it. It just feels realistic. Look, look at this. I don't know. Is it just me? It kind of looks like a little rundown. You see this here. I just like builds like this. Does anyone else comment down below? I know I'm not the only one. I could think of a few simmers off the top of my head on YouTube who also enjoy builds like this and they will actually even build things that look like this. I don't know. It's just something about the aesthetic. Like, yeah, I love pretty things and things that look all new and modern and everything, but I also love this vibe. I love even more rundown than this. Like, give me a rundown trailer park. I will have so much fun playing with my Sims. I don't know. I'll just create this whole storyline. It just instantly inspires me, makes me think of different TV shows. I just love things like this. Okay. So next I want to take a look here. So this is just a normal residential. So let's check it out. Oh, wow. This build is stunning. Oh, <gasps> hold on. You guys, we have to like really look at this. Oh my God. Oh, <gasps> why am I in love with this? This is like, 
Whoa, this is one of my favorite lots I've seen in Tomerang. I don't know why, like it's not even a residential rental, but like, are we kidding? This color theme, oh my gosh, just the way it looks in this world. <gasps> why am I so obsessed? I literally keep taking photos. This is so beautiful. The roofing, oh, excuse me. <gasps> this is so pretty. The hot tub in the back here with all the flowers. <gasps> I just love the color choice. I love the furniture. I love this over here. This makes me so happy. I'm still obsessed with this barbecue. I gotta say, you know, I'm not about like the early access stuff. If you like pre-order by this date, this though, I don't know what it is. It adds the aesthetic that I'm wanting. It looks perfect if you place it like in um residential rental lots that are like m multiple different units and there's like you know a middle like community area outside oh my gosh it looks so good in lots like that it just feels like there's a little like food cart outside i don't know <laughs> and i i'm obsessed this is so pretty like I can't get over it. All right, so here's the first floor. Here's our sim here. Just an old man living on his own. We love that for you. He rides around on his bike. Oh my God, I love this lifestyle. So he has some skills going for him. He's level 10 fishing, okay. But I would assume he's self-employed and does fishing for a living. That's what I would guess. Oh, he knows some sims, okay, okay. Oh, I was gonna say because that's the sim that they know. Oh, that's how he's making his cash. Okay, we love that. So he is an old dude living on his own, no wife, nothing like that. He owns this residential rental, so he's making that bank, and he can just chill at home and fish. We love that for him. Play chess and fish, uh-huh. <laughs> I would honestly put like a pond in his backyard, but yeah, this is so cute. I love his little island. How adorable. And then going up, it, ooh, it's so cozy. I love, ooh, I love the color theme. It's giving just like forest vibes to me. I don't know. I love, I love, I love. And yeah, then we have this floor up here. I guess he plays some piano. I love this house. This is so pretty. I would play with this sim. I know that seems like odd because I feel like I never play with just like one elder or something, but like, I don't know. His story interests me. I like it. All right. So I really want to look at the vacation rental here because I just feel like Tomerang would be such a pretty place to go to vacation. Yeah, I'm curious what this looks like. So this is gonna be the last lot we look at. I feel like it's so much faster to look through lots in Tomerang because the world's so small, sadly. It makes me so sad, but oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's like little. Oh my gosh, imagine taking a vacation here though. Can, can we take a minute? Imagine just like sitting in this hot tub with all the greenery around. This is so pretty though, like actually the pond. Oh my God, I'm all for like a relaxing vacation. And when I tell you I need one, oh my God. And so every time I see, like guys, this is why we play Sims, right? Like, yeah, can't go on a vacation in real life? Well, go have one in the Sims and <laughs> have your Sims stay in this relaxing place like this. And then it just relaxes you, uh-huh. I feel like a lot of us play the Sims for a lot of those reasons. <laughs> I know I do chaos in my game too and like things that I wouldn't want to happen in my real life but sometimes I'll also do like happy rainbows too um just on my own if I just want you know get away from all my problems in real life and just like play in a lot like this and everything's perfect and then it makes everything in real life just feel perfect for a little while <laughs> while I'm playing but this is so pretty I love it so much so you guys that is gonna be the last lot we look at definitely recommend this if you just want base game and for rent some people only own the base game and for rent you know what I mean so if that's the case if this is perfect for you or you just want a more simplistic save file and with that said I'm gonna wrap this up here I hope you all enjoyed I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video bye guys